Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Cohen, and I'm so grateful to have you here. And today I kind of want to talk about something that people don't talk about. Um, but I'm that girl who's always going to talk about things that people don't talk about. And I kind of wanted to give you guys a different perspective and my views on a miscarriage. So I can't really tell you um, what is making me actually do this. I've had a notion to talk about this and I was like, maybe I'll wait. And I don't know, I was just listening to a podcast unrelated completely. And I'm like, you know what? Let's talk about this. Like, I don't know, it, didn't, it sparked an inspiration. I'm holding my phone because my tripod is like way too big for my current lighting situation. Anyways, so... Um, Today is three weeks since I had a miscarriage. I did not share the story on here. I did share it on Instagram stories. And if you're interested in knowing more about it, it's in my story highlights on my Instagram account. I'm gonna put a little thing right here. And it was a very, very, very traumatic experience, so to speak, physically at most. And so as we're here, I'm just going to fill you in on the little blinks and let you know that I was pregnant with twins. Really crazy. We do not have twins in the family and it happened naturally. And I created a whole video sharing the story the moment I found out that I was pregnant that was supposed to go on YouTube telling the whole story. Obviously, that video is not going to happen anymore because sadly they passed away and they did not make it. And um, I was pregnant 10 and a half weeks and the babies just stopped growing. It wasn't anything I did and I'm aware of that. And a lot of people aren't aware that miscarriages, like 99% of the time, 95% of the time I want to say, just happen naturally. It's not something that you actually did. It's like a DNA, chromosomes lack of information and confusion confusion of information my scenario i actually ovulated twice in one cycle meaning that i got pregnant twice in one cycle and so one twin was a week younger so it wouldn't have been biological twins they wouldn't have been identical sorry they wouldn't have been identical twins and um they would have been biological twins so yes um they wouldn't have been identical and what was happening was one twin was stealing DNA information, genes, chromosomes from the other, and then they were both considered incomplete and they stopped growing. Now, currently I am emotionally and spiritually okay. I'm also physically okay at this very moment in time. I'm still healing three weeks later, but um, I had a really bad reaction to the miscarriage that ended, that ended up in my boyfriend Ben calling 911 and I ended up in the ER twice in one week. Um, I had a very bad reaction to the miscarriage. Very, very, very bad. Um, I was shivering. I was shaking. I was vomiting. I was just all the things. I couldn't feel my hands. My body went numb. It was really insane. I was going through um, contractions, making sounds I've never made before. The whole thing was really traumatic and crazy physically. I'm just grateful that I'm like emotionally and spiritually woke. I guess the reason why I can be smiling in this very moment in time and I'm emotionally and spiritually okay is because I've had so much spiritual, mental and emotional um, practice and knowledge through the years that have helped me deal with trauma. When you go through a lot of traumatic experiences in a lifetime over the, over the years, I suppose, through you know, research and educating yourself, you learn to better navigate the traumatic experience. For the, I'm just beyond grateful for that because if I didn't have that, I would be a complete mess in this very current moment in time. But what I really wanted to come on here and say is and give a different type of perspective on what I actually believe in miscarriage is. A lot of people ask me from a spiritual perspective, what do I think it is? And I didn't really explain it publicly. I did share this with friends, close friends and relatives and family members, and it actually is what made me feel better about the entire situation. Um, what happened was we had a period where we weren't sure if things are okay or not. And I'm very intuitive. Intuition never lies, man. And I knew that something wasn't right. 
um, for a while and everyone told me to stay positive and I'm like, yeah, I'm a very optimistic person. I normally do stay positive, but my intuition is telling me that something's not okay. And like I said, intuition never lies. And we had this period of like two and a half weeks where we didn't actually know what was happening. We were waiting on a lot of results and things like that. And I had to kind of accept at one point either or realities, either they're gonna be okay or they're not. One might make it, one might not. That's what I was also told. And I was obviously having a very hard time the moment I found out that they might not be okay through an ultrasound and I had a total meltdown and breakdown, which I think is actually healthy for you. And after I calmed down from that, I had a few days when we were waiting and this was around New Year's, you guys, like before New Year's, during New Year's time. And during my pregnancy, I would wake up very early. I'm a night owl naturally, but I just kept waking up all the time through the night, peeing a hundred times and... <laughs> staying up at like six or five in the morning until the sun came up and on one of those mornings i had come out on my balcony we moved to a new house we have this massive ass balcony i came out here with like a blanket early morning as the sun was coming up and i was trying to do a meditation i was doing a lot of um affirmation positive energy meditations to hope and pray that the babies are okay and i also get a lot of downloads from the universe and god and You know, on one of those mornings, I had gone out on the balcony doing my, you know, positive affirmation, putting my hand on my stomach and trying to put positive energy into my field, into my baby's field. And I asked, what what would cause a miscarriage from a spiritual perspective? And I just started to get these downloads. And I don't know if you know what a download is, but if you don't, it's like you just get downloads of information from your crown chakra. And this is not for everyone, clearly and obviously. This is just for my 5D people, the people that step outside of their 3D realm, their physical reality, um, and have a higher understanding. And the message that I got was that, how do I explain this? (laughs) Let me think about this, hold on one second. So before souls come to earth, we have a soul contract. it's things that we, you know, agree upon that, that, you know, the role that we're going to take in this lifetime, the challenges, um, our karma, our reincarnation, all the things. It's like your your soul contract. You know, it's your role on this planet, your mission, your everything, what your challenges are. Like I just said, all those things. And I believe that every soul is born exactly, and it's right, perfectly aligned moment and timeline. Um, aligned with their mission and all those things and I do believe that there are souls that volunteers tribute <laughs> I volunteers tribute <laughs> like in the Hunger Games they do volunteer not I, I don't know I don't think that all souls volunteer I think a lot of souls have karma that they have to heal from past lives but then there are souls that have finished that cycle and they're here to volunteer as tribute to help humanity um if you actually do the research and understand the rarity of your existence and how rare it is that you even came into form it's pretty miraculous um thing it's out of this world like the chances are some crazy ass percentage it's very crazy it's very rare you're a miracle fyi and what i want to say is when it comes to birth and timelines and all the things and zodiac signs and astrology and all those things time is of the essence and i think the timing is very important and there are timelines that happen in different dimensions and different realms in the universe in the heavens however you want to look at that but there are also our 3d perspective our 3d timelines here on earth and a lot of times things here on earth shift and change fast because we do have free wills as souls and so there are so many different timelines that are happening at the same time there are so many different realities and dimensions and all those things and we have like i said our 3d room here and then we have different rooms and different dimensions where the souls hang out and i think that it has to be perfectly aligned with both things and sometimes things here in the 3d realm shift and change fast or the opposite right they change slower you know time gets spent up slowly and i think what happens is and this is the download that i had is that there was you know there's souls there are babies there are humans souls that are supposed to manifest here into our 
you know, 3D Rome, 3D reality here on Earth. And sometimes things get changed because of the timelines on here, from here or there. And when timelines change, it kind of changed the trajectory, I can't pronounce that word, of everything. What I'm trying to say is that I believe that my babies and, you know, possibly, ideally, other, other pregnancies that have, you know, other people that experience miscarriages, I believe that their babies had a soul mission and a contract that they signed to come here on Earth to do a specific mission in a certain timeline. And because things change in the 3D realm, in the timelines here, it changes when the babies, the souls, actually come to Earth. And so sometimes you have to hold on, not yet, not now, hold on, let this thing happen first, or this thing's happening first, let's see what happens with this, and then we'll come to Earth, the soul, the baby souls. And that's what I believed happened with my babies. That's what I believe happens with a lot of babies. This was just like a, a highly, I had a high meditation on the balcony during this beautiful sunrise. And that was the download that I got. And it made me feel good. It made me feel safe. It made me trust God and the universe and everything. It made my higher self understand why sometimes, you know, horrible things that you wish never happened do happen. I understand and that's what helped my healing journey is understanding that um, I still believe that my baby's soul will manifest into this lifetime maybe in a different obviously in a different timeline not maybe but obviously in a different timeline they might come back as twins they might come back as singular children singular pregnancies but having that perspective I'm telling you really gave me a lot of comfort and ease and that's what also helped me be okay with the circumstance not okay like you can never be okay with such a horrific experience right but it definitely helped me a lot to cope with the situation and to understand everything was going to be okay and i i really do trust and believe that they will come back in a different timeline um when things are better suited for them and i just you got to trust man you got to have faith you got to trust in god you got to trust in the universe got to trust in you know the bigger plan i also think that there is a part of this that has to do with karmic healing from past lives or this life part of your you know your challenge your mission here on earth your you know everyone has like a challenge that they have to face in, in this lifetime and you know we're always i think that every soul has different things that they're given in this lifetime and i believe it's a combination of both of karmic healing but also just timelines being changed um yeah that's my perspective you guys i do believe that perception is everything and i just kind of wanted to share this with you guys i was i felt like i was literally called to do this this morning and i also want to say that i do have a master class that i'm running really soon you can get yourself a spot in there it's going to be a live event it's a master class called triggered and we're going to be doing shadow work in there and I'm going to be teaching so much inside of trigger on how to, you know, allow your triggers to be your superpowers, your traumas, your triggers, your anger to be, to use it, how to utilize it as a superpower to be powerful and overcome and build like a badass characteristics to yourself, how to unleash the badass that's inside of you that's waiting to burst out. What I'm gonna be teaching in Triggered is also a lot of the things and the tactics that I've used to build my badass, I don't give a fuck personality type, the go-getter, the all them things, the girl that never stops, the girl that doesn't allow negative things to come in her way and just keeps on, that keeps on dreaming big and achieving really big, great, incredible things that are literally impossible in most people's eyes. Um, I'm gonna be teaching that inside of Trigger. And I also have another masterclass called Energetically Aligned. This is a six weeks program. And in Energetically Aligned, I'm teaching so much stuff about manifestation. I was definitely manifested getting pregnant. Um, we tried our first time. I'm 37 and a half. People told me my whole life that it's going to be too late and all them things. And um, nope, I manifested it. We tried our first time and I got pregnant twice. In our first time so i am teaching so much in energetically aligned it's going to be so much about manifestation and clearing your soul and just so much stuff 
I can't wait. Um, if you guys want to sign up to any of these programs, I'm going to leave a link below. You can also get a bundle of them. And I love you guys so much. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be doing well. Still healing, but very excited for what I have planned to come. And I love you guys and sending you kisses and a great week.